Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardanazmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will learn how we can evaluate triple adjective integrals. For this purpose, we will learn exercise 15.5, question number 20. Here, the integral given to us is limit from 0 to 7, limit from 0 to 2, limit from 0 to 4 minus q square square root. And we have to integrate q over r plus 1 for the sequence of variables p, q, and r. In triple integrals, we have three sign of integrations and we have three variables. First of all, we will learn which variable correspond to which integral. Here, in the most inner differential dp, our variable of integration is p. This variable of integration, which is written in the most inner side, is called inner variable. The limits of p are 0 to 4 minus q square, square root. Then we have central variable. In the central differential dq, our variable is q, which is called central variable, and the limits of q are 0 to 2. And the variable which is written on the most outer side with the differential is r, and it is called outer variable. The limits of r are 0 to 7. In triple integrals, we always start the process of integration from most inner variable, and then we will move towards outer variable. What it means? I will perform the integration with respect to most inner variable, which is p here. And then on the outcomes of integration of p, I will perform the integration with respect to q. And then on the outcomes of integration with respect to q, I will perform integration with respect to r, which is our outer variable. So we always move from most inner variable towards most outer variable. Moreover, in multivariable calculus, whether you are performing integration or partial derivatives, if you are dealing with one variable, all other variables will behave like constants. So with respect to P, Q and R will be constant. With respect to Q, P and R will be constant. With respect to R, P and Q will be constant. In this process of integration, first of all, we will perform our integration with respect to P. So with respect to P, Q over R plus 1 is constant. And the integration of DP is P only for the given limits. In the next step, I have applied fundamental theorem of calculus to evaluate the limits upper limit minus lower limit making the simplification so i have q over r plus 1 into square root of 4 minus q square with respect to q this step completes the process of integration with respect to p in the next step i will perform integration with respect to q so in order to perform this integration we must know this formula and what is this formula if there is a function with some power and the derivative of function is available in the integrand as a multiplier then we will perform the integration of function as we will add 1 in the power and divide with the same number. So the integration of f of x is to power n into f dash of x dx is f of x is to power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. We will apply this formula over here after just a little bit adjustment. We can write q over 1 plus r as 1 over r plus 1 into 4 minus q square raised to power 1 by 2 into q. Now, Please note that the derivative of 4 minus q square with respect to q is minus 2q, which is not available here, but we have only q. So in order to develop the derivative, so that I can apply this formula, I can multiply with minus 2 here, and in order to balance it, I will divide with minus 2 outside of the integral. So after this, we can apply this formula over here. So the integration of 4 minus q square raised to power 1 by 2 is 4 minus q square raised to power 1 by 2 plus 1 over 1 by 2 plus 1. In the next step, I will perform the simplification and then I will apply the limits with the help of fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. This 3 by 2 is constant, which is available in the denominator. I can shift it outside. As 2 is a third order denominator, it becomes 2 over 3. So minus 1 over 2 into 2 over 3, and I will apply limits on 4 minus q square as 4 minus 2 square raised to power 3 by 2 minus 4 minus 0 square raised to power 3 by 2. Making the simplification, I have 0 minus 8. You can take this minus 8 outside. So we have 8 over 3 limit from 0 to 7. 1 over r plus 1 dr. In order to solve this integral, we must know this formula. If in the integral, we have a fraction. In the numerator, we have a derivative of the term in the denominator, then the integration of this is as natural log of f of x. Means, if the, if the derivative of denominator is available in the numerator, then you will take the integration as 
Dutch log of denominator. Now you can see the derivative of r plus 1 with respect to r is 1 plus 0, which is available in the numerator. So, can apply this formula here. So, the integration of 1 over r plus 1 is natural log of r plus 1 for the given limits. In the next step, I have applied the limits upper limit minus lower limit, making the simplification. I have 8 over 3 natural log of 8. You can write your question answer up till here. Or if you want to make more simplification, we can write 8 as 2 raised to power 3. In the next step, applying the properties of natural log, I can shift this this power 3 before the natural log. So I have 8 over 3 into 3 natural log of 2. 3 and 3 will be cancelled out. So we can write the answer in the most simplified form as 8 into natural log of 2. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and share this content with your fellows. Allah Hafiz.